And I was raised in the Mormon church. Uh, I was going every Sunday. I had a couple callings. I was the first counselor at the Beehive School of the Wild. And I went all the time. And then one morning at Gary Abram, I was sitting in my kitchen eating my cereal. And my mom was standing there. And we, got, we were talking, you know, just a morning thing. And she, we got on the subject of religion. And she said, Lincoln, I don't exactly know what Joseph was doing in the forest, but I think he was high. I don't think he said Jesus or, or God or anything. And, you know, I just didn't exactly know how to react, what to do. I just dropped the Cheerios out of my mouth and almost jumped. <laughs> and just stood there and looked. I had no idea what to do or anything. And, you know, she just kept on saying, and so... Later that night, we watched um, the DNA movie and Book of Mormon versus the Bible. Oh, my aunt. And we watched that, you know, and then it just kind of got me thinking. And I was, you know, I was like, maybe it's really not true. And so we just kind of, over a while, we just kind of talked about it and stuff like that. And we got thinking, and then we started going to Bible study at Sean's house. And I really liked going. It was something new, but it didn't make me feel like I had to be perfect, sit there and just, you know, just look, not say anything. It was kind of weird because all the other kids there, they knew, oh, I know that answer, I know that answer. And I was like, I don't know that answer. <laughs> just kind of didn't know anything. But over time, you know, I started getting into it, and I knew a couple more things. <laughs> and then I went on a trip to Moab with the youth group. And I think that's where my life changed. That's where I accepted Christ through with all those other Christian kids there. They just talked to me, taught me, helped me, supported me. They were just there for me. And now I'm a Christian. I've accepted Christ. And later, today, I'm getting baptized. <laughs>